I think it's time we talk about this Adam 22 situation. If you've been paying attention at all on social media, you would know that Adam 22 let someone else lay the pipe down to his wife. That man happens to be 6'5", 225, black, and has a 12-inch cock. Now that is the man Adam chose to have sex with his wife. I'm pretty sure she posted it to her OnlyFans, the video awards on uh, The Hub. I'm not exactly sure, nor do I really care about the video. But I, I do have a couple thoughts about this situation. Um, it has been happening for a little bit now. It's like, what, like, like a week and a half? People have been kind of talking about it. Everyone's called it Adam22 a cuck, and I agree 100%. Adam22 is a cuck. Now, I know he's been on the OnlyFans scene with his wife for a while, and, you know, they're usually having threesomes with other girls. You know, do whatever you want, man. If you want, you know, get some money. But now there's a video of your wife getting just just absolutely destroyed by a guy with a 12 inch cock. Jason Love, by the way, that's who I'm referring to. You probably don't Google Jason Love and go to images. You'll probably see his cock, unless that's what you want, dude. Then, you know, more power to you. But everyone has been calling him a cuck for a good reason. Um, you let your wife get absolutely destroyed on video and it's posted on social media. And you guys have a daughter too, which is, that's another crazy part. Damn, dude, when she gets older, you better homeschool her ass because she is going to get bullied, dude. It's just, it's just the memes are going to be endless, man. I've always had a problem people like making the OnlyFans videos when you do have children because then it just kind of puts your kid in a very bad situation. They're 100% getting bullied. Like this generation of kids, bullying is going to be all time high. It's just going to be ridiculous. But like do what you want. If you want to make the OnlyFans videos, I have really nothing completely against it. It's us men that ultimately are the reason why there is OnlyFans. So it's our fault. We're to blame because we're horny fucking bastards. But after they made this whole video, you know, say what you want about Adam being a cuck, which I would say he is a cuck, but he's been promoting the fuck out of this video. And like he's been living up to the cuck name he's been embracing the cuck this whole situation has been very cringe since you know this got announced or whatever it got released that adam's literally just having who's next in line to fuck my wife i would never do that if i had a wife fuck no dude i don't even want you to be posting booty pics that i have a wife let alone getting fucked by a brolic black dude or even a brolic white dude you know we don't discriminate but i'm just saying they tend to have way bigger penises than us white people and this, the, the tweets that have been really coming out of the situation have been the peak of cringe. Like, on top of everything that's going on with this, you know, say what you want. Just the tweets itself have been fucking, holy hell, dude. These people are grown. How old is Adam22, man? This man's about to be fucking 40, bro. He's about to be 40, and he's tweeting like he's in high school. So we're gonna look at a couple of these tweets, and we're gonna see which ones are the best ones. So we got this one. Lena, Lena tweeted, you have to respect a man if you're gonna fuck me. Which, that's, that's crazy. That woman right there knows what she wants. Like, she wants to get fucked by other dudes. Now she, she took the B BBC, like, it's just, it's over now. Good luck pleasing her. All right, let's see, let's see this video, what he says, man. Hey, hey, okay. and I'm gonna tell you one last thing before I get off this, is that if my next child comes out African-American, I'm gonna love him or her and raise them like my own, because that's how woke I am, brother. This man is 40. First of all, <laughs> This man's wearing a do rag with no hair. Good, you're, you get them, get them waves, bro. Get them, get them waves, man. Which I guess you know that's respectable. If even if your kid comes out black and it's not your kid, you raise it in your own, dude. That's that's what a man does. If you're not letting black guys destroy your wife's pussy and they get them pregnant and you don't raise that kid, you're a piece of shit, dude. Honestly, if you're not letting big black dudes fuck your girlfriend, you are a piece of shit. But I really do feel for their kid. That's that's the hard part, dude. Because when she gets older, man. Ugh, dude like she's gonna have money like but like money isn't everything i would rather be broke and not have my parents do sex work than rich and have my parents do sex work like oh what does your mom do for a living uh, she gets fucked on camera for money they have those days where you go to your child's school and you talk about what you do for work and how you got in there. That would be uh, interesting if her kid had her mom come do that. Yeah, I really do hope for, pray for the daughter, man. Hopefully uh, she doesn't get, like when she's older, she doesn't get bullied, but we already know what's going to happen, man. Same with Lana Rhodes' kid. But yeah, he's really just posting a whole bunch of memes. I guess he's living up. You know, he's trying to own the fact that he's a cuck, which, you know, honestly, it's probably the best way to handle this situation. It's been funny. Jason Love has been kind of like memeing about it, like, oh... I fuck your wife better than you and all this shit. Just being a complete meme about it, which I think not him because he's he's the one fucking the wife. He's not the one that is married to her. So it's not weird for him, really. You know, it's just he's a born star. Like, it's just how it is. Well, then Adam22 threatens Jason Love. Let's, let's see. Let's see what this is about. I guess we're uh, doing this today. Hey, Jason Love, I trusted you to pork my wife. And it seems like that clout is getting to your head. You're talking real, real spicy and I ain't really feeling it. Number one, the angle of the dangle is more important than the cubic of the pubic. That's number one. Number two, my D game, when I'm serving it, man, it's just like your mom's home cooking because there's a special ingredient. It's called love. You ever heard of it? Number three, don't make me expose you 
and you know what I'm talking about. It can get real, real messy out here. Number four, you don't want problems moving around in these LA streets, because I can make that happen. I'm very, very well connected. And number five, you are officially blacklisted from smashing my wife again. Show some respect. This is the video that really made me want to make a video about this. Like, I was going to make a video about this, but I just didn't really feel like it. It's just, I had to talk about it, man. It's just, he needs to be stopped, dude. Like, this man, like I said, he is 40. 40 years old, and you're talking like you're fucking grade school. I know it probably is satire. You know, it's probably him just trolling and trying to, it's marketing. That's probably all it is. And that's part of the reason why I didn't really want to make a video on this, but it is all just marketing. Like, it's just, it's just fucking cringe. I think we can all agree Adam 22 is a cuck. You just get on up to the cuck status, man. You like to watch your wife get fucked. That couldn't be me personally, because I, I got respect for myself and my woman. But they've been doing this for a while, like the OnlyFans type shit. So like, it's nothing completely new. Like every time you go on Adam 22's Twitter by accident, you'll see his cock at least five times. But they really, they really are marketing this pretty well though. I think most people are not gonna be buying it. Just get the leaks, man. Just, just get, if you wanna watch the video, just get the leaks like everyone else did. Get the leaks, man. Who's paying for that shit, man? <laughs> but it is good marketing. I will give them that. It is good marketing. You know, say what you want about the ethics. They never really had ethics to begin with. You know, they're making money off it. Not all money is good money. I guess just do whatever you want, man. Whatever makes you happy. You know, if you like seeing your wife get fucked by, uh, you know, 12 inch cocks, then that was what makes you happy, dude. And uh, I guess I can respect that a little bit. But at the end of the day, you just want to be happy. You know, it's going to come to a point where is your daughter happy with what you guys do? No, she's going to she's gonna be seeing her daddy's cock all over her timeline. If she, I would just be like, you can't have social media. Like maybe you train her that you're the only humans alive. So that way she'll never have to experience the bullying. I don't know, man. It's just, uh, it's a weird situation. Most people probably want to let their wife get fucked by another man. But some people are into that. Some people like to watch it. Like there's the Sneakos of the world, the Adam 22s of the world. It's just, to me, it is cringe, but to them, it is hot. Let me know your guys' thoughts about this. Would you guys be a cuck or would you not be a cuck? Let me know. Or how much money would it take you to be a cuck? Because that's always a question. That's valid. Well, other than that, though, that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you in the next one.